Good afternoon, everybody. I am Broward County Commissioner Stacy Ritter. I'm going to actually scoot closer to you. you. Get in the frame. <laughs> and I am here at the Tamarack Diner in Tamarack at the corner of Knob Hill Road and McNab, and McNab Road. And um, we haven't done a YouTube in quite some time, and so we're starting the almost the new year. Actually, well, it's a Jewish new year, right? With um, something a little different this time. We have a live audience. It's kind of like Jerry Springer, I guess. But don't take it. Don't anybody take your shirts off. Don't take your shirts off. And um, a guest, and we're going to open it up for questions afterward too. So our guest, my guest today, it's really um, for me a really special, um, a really special occasion, is the sheriff of Broward County, Alan Birdie. He's here, and he would like you can applaud him. Hey. Thank you. Al, thank you for being here. My pleasure. Thanks for inviting me. It's great to be at the Tamarack Diner, one of the BSO cities. And you, you know, I've watched coffee with Stacy uh, numerous times on uh, YouTube, so it's a pleasure to be here. I've seen him before, and I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. So let's just uh, get right into it. Okay. Let's. Uh, you were a police officer before you were sheriff, right? <laughs> I, I've been with the Brown Sheriff's Office for 34 years. I'm the first sheriff that's ever come up through the ranks in, in 97 years. That's never happened before. Uh, I actually started with the Broward Sheriff's Office in 1977 in the Broward County Jail when the jail was in the courthouse. And you know, we're building a new courthouse, but when I started, the jail was actually in the courthouse. And where did you move from? Uh, I moved here from New York. Uh, I went to, uh, from New York, I grew up in the Bronx. I went, uh, uh, I went to Florida State University, Yay. and yeah, there you go, and then Florida Atlantic University, and then I got a job with the Broward Sheriff's Office. Okay, so. How long, have you been, how long have you been the sheriff of Broward County? Uh, five years. I was appointed in 2007. Uh, I ran on my own in 2008. Um, I was elected, believe it or not, and uh, so I've been five years. And tell us how you like the job. Uh, I love the job. I mean, it's uh, it's what I've grown up doing, and uh, you know, just from a, you know, when I was about 16 years old, I, I thought of a, you know, this is kind of what I want to do. Uh, my mom actually wanted me to be a priest. Uh, you know, and uh, she said, it's about time we have somebody good in this family. And so I told her, I said, you know, Ma, it's a little different. Sometimes uh, when people are in trouble, they call their priest, but they, sometimes they call the police. And that's kind of what I want to do. She still hasn't accepted it, though. <laughs> 82 years old, still hasn't accepted it. So I wanted my son to be a doctor. Um, that's not working out either. Um, <laughs> can I tell a Jewish mother I wanted a doctor in the family? Um, t tell us a little bit about the structure of, of BSO in, in this respect. You know, Broward Sheriff's Office is, is in charge, does the public safety for some cities, and but some cities don't. So how, how many cities you have and how, how that came about that there were some cities that became BSO cities? Okay. Well, there's three major parts to the Broward Sheriff's Office. Law enforcement, which is the traditional police, the jails, which are the Department of Detention, and then Fire Rescue, where the only sheriff's office in the country that has fire rescue as part of it. In law enforcement, we do 14 cities that we provide the police service. We're just like their hometown police department. And Tamarack is one of those cities. Uh, they had their own police department, decided for a lot of reasons, financial, better service, to merge. So 14 cities plus Port Everglades. So if you take a cruise, we provide the security and Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport. So if you fly, that's the Broward Sheriff's Office. And then just regionally, uh, cities start to merge with us as far as fire rescue. So we have eight cities that are under us for fire rescue, uh, including the port and the airport. And um, when was the last city? I think the last city was Parkland? Uh, Parkland for police. And then just this past year, two cities merged with us for fire rescue. The city of uh, Dania Beach, and then in January, the city of Deerfield Beach. And how many employees does the Broward Sheriff's Office have? Well, we have 6,000 employees. Uh, we're the third largest sheriff's office in the nation. Los Angeles is number one. Harris County, Texas, which is Houston, is number two. We're number three. But we are the largest fully accredited sheriff's office in America. Well, and what's your budget? Uh, my budget on the general side is about $450 million in, in the county right. budget. Uh, there's another, and, and probably about... 225 million of that is the jail, so that's a huge part of it. And then the uh, other side of it, about another 200 million is from those contract cities, and about 90 million is the fire department. I think most people don't know um, that 
Broward County, Broward County government actually owns the jail, yes. as, as we do the courthouse, but we contract with the sheriff to... Uh, yes, we run the jail on behalf of the county, so the sheriff is the chief correctional officer for the county, um, but that does come from an agreement with the county commission. Uh, in some counties it's different, where in some counties like Orange County, Orlando is an example, the county runs the jail, uh, in, a, in a lot of the, like Palm Beach, Broward, uh, the sheriff runs the jail. So it's an issue, I mean, I think that there are a lot of things that that that, vote, that r residents of Broward County may not understand about the structure of the, the Broward Sheriff's Office. You're an independently elected constitutional officer, but your budget comes from the Broward County Commission. Uh, that's basically, uh, the sheriff is one of the four constitutional officers, uh, which means we're provided for in the Florida Constitution. Uh, but all of our funding comes from uh, from the county commission, predominantly property tax, uh, but we have grants and charge some fees and, and things like that. So, uh, uh, we'll give an idea, give the give the um, viewers an idea of what kind of fees are charged that they that they may not be aware of to help generate some revenue so that you can employ your public safety officers and others. Well, a lot of the fees we charge are from bad guys. Right. Uh, we make them pay. Uh, you know, for when they're in the jail, they pay a subsistence fee, a daily fee. Uh, we're on, when they're on probation, we make them pay uh, monthly for their probation. And even those people on electronic monitors, you know, the ankle bracelets, they have to pay for that. We don't want the taxpayers having to pay for people's bad behavior. So uh, quite a lot, most people don't know, is we make inmates contribute to their health care, to their food, uh, things like that. And that's all revenue that goes back to support the system. Uh, from a civil standpoint, when you have to serve civil process, um, uh, foreclosures, divorce papers, those kind of things, and, you know, we charge a fee to, to do that, and uh, so that's all revenue uh, for, for the county. Which I think a lot of people don't know. Do you want to take a break? All right, we're going to take a break, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to get into some of the programs that, the sheriff, uh, that are the sheriff's office priorities and that are Sheriff Lembury's priorities in particular. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm. 